All right, Shalom, Yasha Allah, peace Israel. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and has taught us this truth. And also, peace and salutation to the hopeful elect out here laboring truth and sincerity in the four corners of the earth, understanding and the banner of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makakadash. And also, uh, peace and salutation to the believers out there, you men, women, and children that, 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 that's taking heed and, 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 and following the, the true doctrine of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and serving Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai in truth and sincerity. All right. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father who the world ignorant calls God, Yahweh, or, or Jehovah. Right, but, uh, once again, the true name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. Bahashim is in the name. Yahweh Shah is the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, our Lord and Savior, the Savior of Yahshua Allah, which in Hebrew is Israel, which pertains unto you so called uh, uh, Negroes, uh, Hispanics, and also uh, Native Assimilal Indians, and the Israelite foreigners, whose lineage go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. But once again, all right. Uh, Yahweh is who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ. That's our Lord and Savior. That's his true name. But Hashem, once again, is in the name. Waka Kodash. Waka means spirit. Kodash means holy. So in the name of the Holy Spirit. And that was said in Elash one Kodash, the holy tongue, which is the Paleo Hebrew. And that word Paleo goes back to the word ancient. So it's the ancient Hebrew, the language of our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. All right. And it's the brother Karab here from the GMS Boston camp. I just want to go into a quick lesson. And those of us that the lesson is edifying. And this lesson is going into. Um, how Esau uh, is uh, he's 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 uh, f he's in he's in straits. All right, Esau fears uh, what's happening in the world today, which is this great awakening. All right, so-called blacks and Spanish Native and Seminole Indians are coming back to their new uh, to their to their, their nationality. All right, their true tradition. All right, the heritage, which is Yasha Allah. All right, Israel. All right. And also confessing the names of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai in the world today, all right? Because, you know, Esau, Edom, and not just only Esau, but these other nations, talking about these heathens, considering Moab, Ishmael, these are Hamite, Hamitic nations, all right? They all conspire with one consent, as in, uh, let's grab that real quick. They all conspire together under one consent to do what? To, to destroy the children of Israel. All right, to, to cut off all, cut us off from being a nation. All right, let's grab that real quick. Uh, Psalms eighty three, and uh, start at verse one. It says, "Keep not thy silence, O Yahweh. Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O Yahweh. For lo, thine enemies, all right, make it tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head, and they have taken crafty counsel against thy people, which is who pertaining us to Deuteronomy seven and six. The Israelites are the Lord's special people. All right." His favorite people above all nations on the earth. All right. So once again, they have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. All right. So once again, it says what? The, let's cut, it, cut them off from being a nation. And this is why they give us black culture. This is why they call us black. They call us uh, Puerto Rican. They call us uh, 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 Indians, which also I think goes into the word savage. All right. They go into all these things, but they don't they don't refer to us as the children of Israel, the children of the living power. All right. So what we're doing today is that Yahweh Shemal Shah had poured upon the spirit of his elect. All right. And great men start with our apostles, Apostle Tahar. Apostle Gabar, Apostle Wakar, Apostle Ramlan, and their elders, all right, and also uh, starting with Abba Bivens to come declare that who are the true children of Israel, all right, that, that we're here to, to proclaim our nationality and that we are the true children of Yahweh Shemel Shah. And Esau Edom is, is fearful of what's going on that soon, sooner than later he's going to make a move, all right, pertaining to Revelation 12 and 12 because he has it but a short time. He can't contain this word. It's, it's spreading like a wildfire. All right. And, um, you know, back in the ancient times, let me grab a quick precept. Uh, in the ancient time, you know, the Most High, his presence was in the temple. All right. Let me see. Uh, Salak here. Yeah. 
bear with me real quick. All right. Uh, Uh, Let me see, let me see Bear with me real quick Alright, so This is one of them Um, You know, uh, back in the the old time In times past Yahweh uh, dwelt in in, 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 in in the temple Where King Solomon had built And then before that he dealt in the tents Which the Levites and the priests Had access to even when King Solomon was on the scene That's who had access into the Heavenly Father But what happened is Esau Edom Had destroyed and sacked the temple Alright so what is happening Now is the, the third temple being Built up and it's not being built uh, 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 with, with man's hands As the scripture said The Lord doesn't dwell in temples made by hand Alright So so what's happening is That, that the most high is, is, is Made by man's hands I should say But uh, the most high has now Had pushed forth his spirit into men Alright which are his temple Alright And this is um, 1 Corinthians 3 and 16 It says Know ye not that ye are the temple of the most high Alright because the Most High dwelleth within us. All right, those that have uh, received Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, the Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, by way of the Kodash, the Holy Spirit, it dwelleth within us. All right, so our temples represent the body, our body. All right, so know ye not that ye are the temple of the Most High, and that the Spirit of the Most High dwelleth, with, dwelleth in you. All right, so now understanding that is to know that Esau Edom can't. Just go and, and and burn down and break down a building and sack the temple like he used to. All right. So what he's gonna do? He's gonna go to. A, he's gonna take another approach and he's gonna try to uh, uh, destroy the children of Israel. All right. He's gonna make his move and try to attack the children of Israel because he knows that there's an elect out there somewhere, but he does. He can't pinpoint who is who. All right. But once again, with this word being cast out into the world and it's been taken, uh, 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 taken in effect, all right, and uh, it's been pushed forth from the uh, four corners of the earth as pertaining to Matthew says this word uh, shall reach the four corners of the earth and then shall the end come, all right. This is what this is the time period that we're in, all right. But this is a prime example of why they fear, all right. See, and so let me go into Ezekiel 37 and I'm gonna start at verse 1. It says, um, Ezekiel 37, when the hand of the Lord, Yahweh, was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of a valley, a valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley and lo, they were very dry. So once again, you got to go back to Psalm the 83rd chapter to say what they said that. Uh, let us cut them off from being a remembrance. All right, and this right here is 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 is, is, is what Ezekiel was seeing—the valley of dry bones, being the children of Israel. All right, not knowing who they are. All right, in a dead state. That's what he said. They was very uh, dry. All right. Verse three he said, "He said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? I and I answer, O Lord Yahweh, thou knowest. All right." You see, that's how that's how bad and, and, and damaged we was as a people. We was cast out. We I mean, uh, we was uh, uh, what scripture says, uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. Let me grab it real quick. All right. We was cast out the land. We were stripped from our heritage. Let's get it. Um, Jeremiah 17 and 4 says, And thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger Which shall burn forever Alright You see So this is all the effects Of what happened Because we sinned against the most high Alright But something great is going to take place As I read on into this into this uh, chapter Alright Ezekiel 37 and 4 Again he said unto me Prophesy upon these bones And say unto them O ye dry bones Hear the word of the Lord Thus saith the Lord Yahweh unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter enter in 
so I can enter into you, and you shall live. And what is that breath? The breath is li- uh, the breath of life. Let's just, let's go look that up real quick. All right. I said bread. Salakia. And it says, uh, Genesis two and seven. In the most in in the in the in the Lord Yahweh formed man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. All right. Let's go to another word. Uh, let's go to another precept. Uh, Psalms 119 and 50 says, This is my comfort in my, in my affliction, for thy word had quickened me. Let's look up that word quickening real quick. Quicken. It says, To live, have life, remain alive, sustain life, live pro- pros- prosperously, uh, live forever, be quickened, be alive, be restored to life or health. All right? And that's what happened. We was quickened in the spirit. We was made uh, granted life again. All right. So going back, and it says uh, verse five, and I said, and thus said the Lord Yahweh unto these bones: Behold, I will cause breath, breath to enter into you, and ye shall live, which is the breath of life. And I will lay sin you upon you, and will bring flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, which is the sin you and the flesh going into what identity. Us starting to know who we are Coming back to what? Our nationality Coming back to who we are Alright And it says And ye shall live And ye shall know that I am the Lord Alright Because this is a great miracle that's happened The whole world counted this out Alright They conspire with one consent To make sure that we don't receive this truth But what, what they can't do Is they can't stop The words of Yahweh Bashim El Shai They cannot stop prophecy They cannot stop his promise Alright Verse 7 It says So I prophesied as I was commanded and, and as I prophesied There was a noise And behold A shaking And the bones came together Bone to his bone And when I beheld Lo the sinew And the flesh came upon them And the sinew covered them above And there was no breath in them Alright Then he said unto me Prophesy unto the winds prophet, pro- Prophesy Son of man and it says, and say to the wind, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slains that they may live. All right. So now, 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 this, 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 the breath is being blown into, uh, uh, into the, uh, into the, into the, into the children of Israel. All right. Primarily the, the elect, because you have some of that have the sinews and the flesh that know that they're Israelites, but they don't have the breath. All right. They don't have the hundred percent truth. They don't have the true doctrine. All right. So that breath is a separation. Why do you think that it was mentioned in one? And it, 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 uh, uh, it was separated because he said, um, if you go to verse eight, it says, but there was no breath in them. All right. And then he continued on to say the prophesy unto the winds and come from the four winds. Just, uh, it said, oh, breathe and, and breathe, oh, breath and breathe upon these slains that they may live. All right. And so what happened after that uh, took place? Verse 10, so I prophesied as he commanded me, the breath came into them and they lived and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. All right. You see, and it's a great, uh, exceeding great army. You have men waking up uh, 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 daily. All right. At a rapid speed. All right. Waking up to this truth, knowing who they are, taking heed and taking notes. Serving a Yahweh Bashmel Shah, call upon Yahweh Bashmel Shah. This is something that Esau Edom couldn't fathom. All right, he didn't expect this to happen. He didn't want this to happen, and this is why they in fear. That's why they in straits. All right, the, the, the scripture says, "Trouble shall make him afraid on every side." Esau Edom has a lot on his plate. All right, he has uh, 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 these foreign, foreign, uh, 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 na- these other nations he got issues with. 
All right, he got the, the the he has the chariots of the Most High in the skies revealing himself that he has an issue with, all right, or that has an issue with him. All right, you have a uh, uh, division amongst America and amongst their the 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 government and their system. All right, and then also uh, to add to that, you have the children of Israel remembering themselves in the land of their captivity. They shall remember themselves. All right, you see. So Esau Edom is all yo man. It's it's a it's a bad look for him. All right, Esau Edom. It's a bad look for you. All right, because what you can't stop is prophecy. All right. Now I got another precept going into uh, Revelation eleven and eight. <clears throat> and it says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the streets of that great city, which is spirit, which which spiritually is called Sodom in Egypt, which is right here in America. All right. Uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 68 said that what? We was going to go back into Egypt by way of ships And we're going to be sold as bondmen and bondwomen Where did that take place? Alright And uh, 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 Sodom You know why it's called Sodom Alright Because of the same acts that took place then Is happening here Alright And it's promoted here Alright All manners of wickedness Alright it says, where also our Lord was crucified and, 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 and they exed out the Lord. All right. Everything. They're trying to take the Bibles out of school. They took the Bibles out of school. All right. They, what they're trying to do is get rid of the scriptures. Anything that has to do with the Lord. All right. Oh, uh, the, 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 they're trying to put it off. All right. And not just only that, they're going to persecute those that speak upon Yahweh Shem Shah, the true name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. All right, those that call themselves Yasha Allah. All right, that's them exiting out the Lord. All right, painting uh, how they painted over the image, all these things, and they promote the the uh, seizure boys. Yeah, all right. So continue on. It says, and they of the people and kindred and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half, which is three hundred and fifty years. All right, and it says, and shall not suffer their their bodies to be put in, in graves Alright once again these other nations That also conspire with Esau Edom Seeing the dead bodies but guess what they did They turned a blind eye Alright why did they turn a blind eye Because they had part in it Alright they had part in that Alright You see if somebody sees something and don't say nothing They're, they're, they're just as guilty as the person that have done something Alright Somebody steals uh, or gets robbed and and, 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 and and that person see it and, and don't either give the warning or say something or try to help out, that person is just as guilty. All right. And that's what these other nations did. All right. They see how they see this the predicament that we we was in or we're in. All right. And guess what? They didn't care. They didn't they didn't they didn't reach out to try to help the children of Israel. No. What they did was they teamed up with Esau Edom to make sure they for, uh, uh, put their foot on our necks. They benefited from us. When you read Lazarus and the Rich Man, what it say? That the dogs licked his sores. All right? They just benefited from us regardless. All right? But once again, you know, this is why these nations is scared. Because the de them dead bodies in the streets represent us. All right? And it said... Verse 10 And they that dwell upon the earth Shall rejoice over them And make merry And they shall send gifts One to another Because these two prophet, prophets Tormented them That dwell upon the earth Which is the northern kingdom And the southern kingdom Alright and, and after three days and a half The spirit of life Which is the breath of life From the most high Yahweh Shemel Shah Entered into them And they stood upon their feet And great fear fell upon them Which, which saw them Alright So this is why we're spoken of uh, 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 in Congress, uh, all right? that go pertaining onto that that lesson that Apostle Tahar, I mean Salak, Apostle Ramla had did, and Apostle uh, Gabar had uh, touched on as well. All right, you see, we're being spoken of now because now they're in great fear. All right, they they, they couldn't believe that this was happening. All right, now going to and let's read verse twelve. And they heard a great verse from heaven saying, "Come up hither," and they ascended up. Into, into up to heaven in a cloud and their enemies beheld them all right and this is what's soon about to come if the scripture says he that endure to the end the same shall be saved all right so all we have to do is endure continue to hold fast and, and, and let no man take our crown as the scriptures say all right because what's going to happen is our, our ride is coming soon all right and how about shimel shah is going to uh, uh call us up into a chariot as in the midst of him destroying this place and that's what I said Their enemies beheld them So these nations Are going to see it 
Esau Edom is going to see it. All right, let's go to that. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and made no accounts of his labor. All right, you see? All right, so men was going to be raised up. And as you see on the highways and the byways, all right, you see you have uh, camps all over the uh, United States, but also in other countries as well. All right, once again, the scripture said this gospel shall be preached into the four corners of the earth. Yahweh Shai's name is going to, Yahweh Bashim Shai's name is going to be declared throughout the earth. All right, you see? And, and starting with Great Millstone, you know, we was going to, uh, you know, and our apostles and elders on down, you know, we're, we're pushing the 100% truth. All right, daily. All right, videos going out daily. You see? But um, continuing on, it says, and when they see it, they shall, they shall be troubled with terrible fear And shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation So far beyond all that they look for Alright, so now The same the same people that beheld them going up into the cloud They're going to be amazed at the strangeness of our salvation this, this goes hand in hand with it Revelation 11th chapter Alright They're going to be amazed at the strangeness Because they didn't think this was going to happen to us They didn't think we was the, ch the ch true children of the Most High Alright they didn't think that it was going to come back around unto us. They didn't think this word was going to uh, resort back to those that had it. All right. Which is us. This truth was going to ret return back unto the, the elect of Israel. All right. Verse three it says, and they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirits shall say within themselves. This was he whom he had sometime in derision and a proverb of reproach. We fools counted his life madness and his end to be without honor. He is numbered among the children of the Most High, and his lot is among the saints. All right. So, hey, hey, that's that's exactly what it is, man. That that that, that you are uh, numbered amongst the children of the Most High. All right. You are the, you are uh, the elect, and this is what happened. And I don't want to write this out. We could be part of the elect, but this is what's happening. Esau Edom is in. He's fear. He's he he he's bugging out right now. He's losing his mind. He's losing his kingdom Alright It says uh, verse 6 Therefore have we erred from the way of truth And the light of righteousness Hath not shined unto us And the sun of righteousness rose not upon us Alright And then you read um, of Malachi It says what The sun of righteousness are, uh, 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 Basically returned with healing in his wings Who Who is he coming unto to heal Those that, that were sick As the scripture said Yahweh stated what a physician, a physician is not coming to those that is whole But unto those that are sick And the children of Israel are those that are sick They are the poor in spirit Alright Alright This says blessed are the poor in spirit For theirs is the kingdom of heaven So who anybody needs saving is the children of Israel And this is why and this is why the Lord Yahweh Shah is returning To do what? To deliver the elect of Israel The elect of the children of Israel Alright This is um he said, the son of righteousness rose not, uh, uh, not upon us. We worried ourselves in the way of wickedness and destruction. Esau, Edom. This is, this is primarily talking about them. All right? Because they're the son of perdition. All right? The man of sin. Yeah, we have gone through deserts where there lay no way. But as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it because it wasn't unto them. The scripture talks about Esau's a profane man. All right? He's a profane man. He's outside the temple. All right, he doesn't know any uh, uh, the way. He does not know the way of righteousness. All right, no, he can he do any righteousness. All right, and it says, um, what had pride profited us? All right, or what had good? What had it's like a what good had riches with our vaunting brought us? All right, the scripture says, pride cometh before cometh before the destruction. All right. And also riches got by deceit The kingdom shall be translated from one people to another Alright All those things are passed away like a shadow And as a post that hasted by And as a ship that passes over the wave of the water Which when it is gone by The trace thereof cannot be found Neither the pathway of the keel in the wave Or, or as when a bird has flown through the air There is no token of her way to be found but the light air being beat with the strokes of her wings parted with the violent noise and motion of them is passed through and therein afterward no sign where she went 
is to be found, all right? So that's exactly what's going to happen to Esau Edom, all right? They're going to fly away like a dream, all right? It's gonna, they're gonna, let's get that real quick. Job 20. I'm sorry, that, uh, verse 5. I'm sorry, that verse 4. Knowest thou not this of old since man was placed upon earth that the triumph of the wicked is short and the joy of a hypocrite but for a moment? Though his excellency mount up to heaven. And his head reached unto the cloud. You can read Obadiah. All right. Reading Obadiah, how he uh, basically uh, going into him being the eagle. All right. Let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's grab it real quick. Uh, Obadiah 1 and 3. The pride of thine heart have deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rocks, whose habitation is high, that set in his heart, who shall bring me down to the ground. And now once again, that's that pride that Esau Edom have. Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and though thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord, Yahweh about Shemel Shai. All right, so let's go back to Job. Job 20 and 5. Uh, uh, that the triumph of the wicked is short and the joy of a hypocrite, but for a moment, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach into the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung, which they have seen, which... I mean, it's so like they which have seen him shall say, where is he? All right. You see, Esau Edom is in a snap of a finger. That's it. All right. All that's going to be done with. All right. His kingdom gone. He's not in power no more. All right. And the children of Israel, Yasha Allah, starting with the elect, is going to rule under Yahweh Bashim al All right. You see? So Esau Edom ain't gonna be ruling no more, and this is why. And this is why he fears. This is why he's about to do what he's about to do, which is to persecute the saints, persecute the uh, the elect. Well, persecute. Uh, actually, the persecution is gonna fall upon, uh, you know, the children of Israel. That's why it's called Jacob's trouble. All right. But primarily, what he wants to do is he wants to take out the elect. All right. Because this is the, the elect is who the Lord is fighting for. All right. It says, um, yeah, verse 7, yeah, he perished forever like his own dung. They that have they which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a dream and should not be found. Yeah, he shall be chased away as a vision in the night. The eyes also which saw him shall see him no more, neither will his place any more behold him. All right, you see? So, hey, man, once that's the time that we're approaching. All right, we're approaching that time. Uh, where Esau Edom is about to get uprooted out the earth. But first, before he get uprooted out the earth, he has to serve captivity. All right. And restore and restore what's owed to the children of Israel. So he says he's going to vomit up riches. So everything that he has took, all right, he has to pay back double. And he's going into hard manual labor. All right. And he's going to have to build up the, he, him and the other nations. Esau Edom, the, uh, the children of Edom and the other nations are going to have to build up the kingdom. All right. As uh, while we while we directing and setting orders, but then after a while they're gonna they're gonna be they're gonna be wiped out. He's gonna perish forever like his own dung. All right. But once again, that's a, that's the reason why Esau Edom fears. All right, because he knows that our time is up. Our time is coming, and his time is up. So okay, I said that wrong, but you know, like the scripture said, let's grab it real quick and end it off on that. Second six. And nine, and it reads Second Ezra six and nine. For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right, you see, all right, and it gets no, it gets no direct in that. All right, this new world to come, the new heaven, new earth, with dwell of righteousness to come. We're going to be ruled by who? The children of Israel, Yasha Allah. All right, under Yahweh Ba Shemiah Shah. All right, and guess what? Esau Edom, at that time, you're going to be done for. All right, your time is up. So, you know, just pray and hope that this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahusha, Bahashim, Akak, Kadash, Jabba, and some of my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And uh, peace and salutation to the whole full elect. And with that, say Shalom, Ababa, and Kwam Yashallah.